blimey, students, they've woken up. <laughs> they, yeah, they've been told that um, the teaching budget's been cut, they're going to have to pay three times as much and pay it back for the rest of their lives. And they're thinking, I'm not sure I approve of that. <laughs> <laughs> A student was interviewed and said, and I quote, there's no jobs out there, and now they're asking us to pay nine grand a year, which, if you do three years, that's like <laughs> 21 grand. The cost of the Dems was staunchly saying, of course, they wouldn't go up, which is great that they got in power and mm. um, put it up. Yeah. Mm. Well, they, they had no idea they were going to be in power when they... Well, they kind of... <laughs> <laughs> well, they made these promises. Nick Clegg keeps saying it's the right government for the right time, which I think is just a, a seedy way to sort of dignify opportunism. You know, he would have made a pact with the Klingons if it meant a sniff of power. <laughs> I don't know. I think the Klingon manifesto was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to disagree here because the Klingons have shown in the past that they're hell bent on world domination, so I'm glad the Liberal Democrats are in there with them. <laughs> <laughs> And the Klingons always get the Lib Dems to make the policy announcements. Absolutely. <laughs> They're going to blow up a whole planet. They say, I'll oh, get the Lib Dem to announce it. The Lib Dem party in this arrangement is the equivalent of the guy you see on Star Trek walking around the planet who you've never seen before is the first one to get killed. That's the Liberal Democrats in this <laughs> But how does Nick Clegg look at himself in the mirror in the mornings? Just looks at David Cameron and sees the same thing. <laughs>